fireworks here once again and um i want to say why my nails look very short is because one of them broke and then i just cut the rest off so i'm just growing them back again so sorry if they look so short that's the reason anyways um it's fireworks here i probably already said that but um today is going to be a video on explaining why I cut the tags off my beanie. Why I'm making this video is because a few people have asked and I just want to make a video about it so you guys, you know, you don't have to ask anymore. I can just direct you to watching this video. First off, just as a disclaimer, this is not a video on like persuading you to cut your tags off your beanie boos. No, I'm totally fine if you want to keep your tags on your beanie boos. It's your beanie boos, not mine, and you can do whatever you want with them. I'm totally fine if you keep your tags on your beanie boos. Um, this is just a video explaining why I cut mine off. So just explaining, you know, the reason I cut it off so you guys don't have to be confused anymore. That's just the reason. It's in no way trying to tell you, you know, you have to do this. I'm just explaining why I do it. So, yeah. so the first reason is because Ty recommends it. Um, I have a tag right here. It is Frankie's tag. Um, it actually is my only tag with a defect. It says birthday instead of birthday, which I did not catch on my video when I unboxed Frankie. Somebody noticed it in the comments. Um, well, actually, I think a few people did. But um, anyway, it says, safety precaution, please remove swing tags and all other accessories. So it says to remove the tag and that's what Ty recommends. So that's one of the reasons why I do it because you know, it's a safety precaution. So that is um, one of the reasons why I cut off the tag. The second reason is because they can get in the way, like, you know, if I was just filming with a beanie boo and then a tag, was like, you know, right here, and then I wanted to put my thumb, like, right there, it would get in the way, and it would, you know, just inefficient, and I can just cut them off, and then they don't have to be in the way anymore. The final reason is, I don't want their tags getting wrecked. This is kind of the same as getting in the way, because, you know, if, you know, again, if I put my hand here, and then, you know, it's not only getting in the way, then I could be wrecking the tag, too, and I would just want to preserve the tag because the tags are really cool they have poems and i think it's just fun to save the tags and i want to um be able to um just save it and not have it get wrecked because you know it could get wrecked if you know the beanie boo drops or something or you know my hand gets in the way and then it presses on the tag and it just you know might wreck the tag so it's better if the tags are off the beanie boos then it can preserve the tags and i know there are tag protectors and that's a good way too, is just I wouldn't want to buy a tag protector like for each beanie boo I get. Like, you know, I would have to buy over 200 tag protectors. I wouldn't really want to do that. But I do have a few tag protectors already. And I'm, you know, if I do get like a really rare beanie boo and it has the tag on, I would probably keep the tag on because, you know, it preserves the um, rarity of it because you know if i cut it off then it also can you know um it make it be less rare because it doesn't have the tag so yeah that's what i would anyway that's all i have for you sparks today i know this is a short video but it's just i wanted to explain and of course you're totally fine if you keep the tags on you know mo the majority of vtubers keep the tag on their beanie boos i just wanted to explain why i don't and you can you know, you can take your tags off or you can leave them on. It doesn't matter to me. I just wanted to explain. Anyway, Sparks, thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope you have an amazing day. Bay? Amazing day? Sorry, I meant I hope you have an amazing day. Bye, Sparks.